Hello and welcome to today's Wednesday in the Word. Have you ever had that experience where we're reading the Bible and we think this is quite interesting and yet at the same time we find ourselves slightly disconnected? And the reason we feel disconnected is because the world into which the Bible speaks, the ancient Near East, an agrarian culture, is is really different from ours. We live in the West. Uh, We live in an industrial or post-industrial world, which is computerized in so many ways. And it feels sometimes as if the world into which God is speaking back then is so disconnected and remote from us that we're not able to bridge the gap between these two worlds. That's a frustration that many of us can identify with. And yet, J.I. Packer in this chapter highlights how perhaps we're asking the wrong kind of question as we consider that apparent disconnect. He explains it this way. It is true that in terms of space, time and culture, they and the historical epoch to which they belonged are a very long way from us. He's talking there about the context into which the Bible was first written. But the link between them and us is not found at that level. The link is God himself. For the God with whom they had to do is the same God with whom we have to do. We could sharpen the point by saying exactly the same God. For God does not change in the least particular. What he's talking about here is the unchanging, unchangeable character of God. His nature, his immutability is the technical term for it. And over this week and next week, we're going to consider six different aspects of God's nature which are immutable or unchanging. The first is this. God's Life does not change. What we're getting at here is the idea that God in himself simply is. I remember one child back in Ireland asked me that question, who made God? And the answer I had to give to her, which is a wonderful answer, was simply this. God just is. He always has been and he always will be. Now, sometimes we struggle with that idea of God's eternal and infinite character because we are finite. But the Bible makes it very clear that God is eternal. So we read, for example, Psalm 90 verse 2. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you had formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. God's life does not change. Connected to that, God's character does not change. That's reflected in the name that God says, this is by which you're to know me. So in Exodus chapter 3, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God's character is reflected in his name. It's one of the wonderful things about Hebrew thinking. The name often reflects the character of the one to whom it's been given. So God says, this is how you, my people, who am about to rescue out of Egypt, out of slavery, this is how you are to know me. You're to know me as I am. Now, that's where we get the word Yahweh in Hebrew, which gave rise to the word Jehovah that we have sometimes in English translations of the Bible. Uh, That's a kind of a, a composite word that was never actually written in the Hebrew time, but it reflects God's eternal, special characteristic of relationship with his people. And specifically, It highlights his unchanging character. It's from the present verb to be. I am who I am or I will be who I will be. 
God is always the same. He is ever present with us, therefore. What a wonderful thing for us to recognize that God is present with us in every moment. His character is always the same. Connected to that still is the third aspect of God's unchangeableness that we want to consider today. It's the fact that God's truth does not change. Psalm 119 is simply full of the wonderful truth that God's word is the same constantly. And we see it again in places like Isaiah chapter 40. A voice says, cry. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows on it, surely the peoples are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Do you hear that? God's truth does not change. The word of our God will stand forever. We as human beings are a bit like grass in a field. We're here one moment, gone the next. Our lives are fleeting. And yet the truth of God and his word is constant. And the impact of this upon our experience, therefore, must be to recognize that as we read the Bible, we are hearing the words of the living God. And so Packer writes, when we read our Bibles, we need to remember that God still stands behind all the promises and demands and statements of purpose and words of warning that are there addressed to New Testament believers. These are not relics of a bygone age, but an eternally valid revelation of the mind of God toward his people in all generations, so long as this world lasts. As our Lord himself has told us, the scripture cannot be broken. Quoting Jesus there from John chapter 10, nothing can annul God's eternal truth. Now that is a huge statement. It highlights the fact that whenever you and I open the Bible, we are hearing the words of the living God. Have you ever thought that before? As you go through your day, the truth of the living God can resonate in our hearts and in our minds as we consider what he says to us in the Bible each day. Are you listening to him? One of the great encouragements I have of Wednesday in the Word are the times people come to me and say, it's just so good to hear something from the Bible through the course of the week. And that is a wonderful encouragement. It's most important that you and I hear the truth of God's Word every day. Why? Because God doesn't change in his life, in his character, in his truth. Jesus says that God's word still stands. Will you listen to him today and tomorrow and always? Let's pray together. Our gracious Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your word. Thank you that you show us that you are unchangeable. Thank you that you are good. You are constant. We see how you are full of love. Your character doesn't change. We recognise, Lord, that oftentimes we forget that because the circumstances of our lives are constantly in flux. Help us to listen to you. Thank you, Lord, that your word always stands. Please, by the power of your spirit, imprint and burn the truth of who you are more fully into our lives. Help us to remember and trust in and be reassured by your unchangeable nature. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take care. God bless you.